Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 48 years since the iconic TV series Barney Miller 1975 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Barney Miller. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. Max Gale graced the screen as the character, Detective Stan Wojo Wojciechowicz, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 32 during the 1975 filming. And now, at the age of 80, he resides in Detroit, Michigan, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. Something that comes up on the job every day. <laughs> right, right, I mean... It's not like you're ever leaving to go to synagogue or... Uh, advocates for something called Project Lifesaver International, which was started by cops and creates programs in communities working with the law, law enforcement. In 1976, Ron Carey graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Officer Carl Levitt, a role he brought to life at the age of 41. It is with heavy hearts that we recall January 16th, 2007, when he sadly departed at the age of 71 in Los Angeles, California, following a battle with a stroke. Yes, sir, thank you. You don't have to thank me, sir. You scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. One hand washes the other, right, sir? Whoa, Joe! This has been a vital benefit for our members for 25 years. The elimination of the benefit for... In 1975, Ron Glass graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Detective Ron Harris, a role he brought to life at the age of 30. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on November 25, 2016, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 71 in Evansville, Indiana. Well, whoopity doopity doo. <laughs> you know, I expected you to say something like that. However, the number of syllables did surprise All price to pay to be able to, and besides, you know, as far as the cast and so forth are concerned, I mean, we kind of stay in touch with each other aside from when we're working anyway. Steve Landisberg graced the screen as the character, Detective Sergeant Arthur Diedrich, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 39 during the 1975 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on December 20th, 2010, due to colon cancer at the age of 74 in Los Angeles, California. And during the time of your life, you know the play? Yeah, William Saroyan. That's right. Well, anyway, it was opening night. It was a rainy night, and hardly anybody... What? <laughs> you know, opening the door of the closet, goes, surprise! <laughs> guess what I'm going to tell you? You'll never guess. You know, <laughs> the Holmes-Cooney fight was one of the last... I... In 1975, Hal Linden graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Captain Barney Miller, a role he brought to life at the age of 44. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 73-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of New York City, New York. But these things take time. Yes, sir. I'll be on duty till 5.30, sir. <laughs> Making it tough. Business, but you better be prepared. That's... I, I was well prepared for my... for those times. In 1975, James Gregory graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Inspector Frank Luger, a role he brought to life at the age of 64. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on September 16, 2002, due to natural causes at the age of 90 in Sedona, Arizona. Body, Inspector. <laughs> Sorry, miss. Look, I don't want you to worry about one little. Too many characters anyway. <laughs> uh, did I mention to you, Bonnie? I put agony. In 1975, Barbara Berry graced a screen with her portrayal of the character Elizabeth Miller, a role she brought to life at the age of 44. And now, at the age of 92, she resides in Chicago, Illinois, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life, surrounded by family and cherished friends. <laughs> Fish in the bathroom? No, he's out with Chano. 
Aren't they going to be back before lunch? It's hard to tell. Hearn, and he directed and he was a star and I think we ran for two weeks but it was my first Broadway play you know it was incredible Abe Vigoda graced the screen as the character Detective Phil Fish cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 54 during the 1975 filming it is with heavy hearts that we recall January 26 2016 when he sadly departed at the age of 94 in Woodland Park New Jersey following a battle with natural causes. But your records must be wrong. Lady, who are you going to listen to? Me or your computer? You won't believe this, but according to their records... What's the best thing about getting older? Right now, I... In 1976... George Murdoch graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Lieutenant Ben Scallon, a role he brought to life at the age of 46. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on April 30th, 2012, he left us due to cancer at the age of 81 in Burbank, California. To submit to this device? Not if you think it might make you look bad, no. You could take the fifth. Want to? Jack Sue graced the screen as the character, Detective Sergeant Nick Yamana, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 58 during the 1975 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on January 11, 1979, he left us due to esophageal cancer at the age of 61 in Los Angeles, California. Get some clams. Gregory Sierra graced the screen as the character Detective Sergeant Chano Amenguale, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 38 during the 1975 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall January 4, 2021, when he sadly departed at the age of 83 in Laguna Woods, California, following a battle with stomach and liver cancer. No kidding. Breastfeeding? <laughs> Share your favorite character from the TV series Barney Miller with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon. See you all.